All right, chip of the day. It is a 7486, a uh, quad exclusive OR gate, an XOR. And uh, yeah, there's four of them in the package. Um, do they have a better picture? No, they don't have a good picture here. But anyway, you got two inputs and an output, and two inputs and an output all pointing down, then two inputs output. So everybody points down. Um, there is another exclusive OR gate in the 4000 series. I think it's, I think I have one. So it's a 4000, um, 4030, but it has a different pinout. So don't confuse them. It'll work, but I mean, it'll have a different pinout. So um, the reason I wanted to bring up the exclusive OR gate today, I may have made a video on this before, but I don't remember. But anyway, not on this particular circuit though. I want to show, I want to show this circuit, this circuit here, okay? And we're going to be using a RC time constant to slow one edge down. So one edge will fly through and the other edge will get delayed and then it will go through and that will cause a pulse, okay? So that's the circuit we're gonna hook up. And this one shows a Schmidt trigger on the exclusive OR and I just don't think you can buy such a thing, but maybe. I don't know. But anyway, let's, let's hook one up. If anybody knows if there's an exclusive or sh uh, exclusive, ex a Schmidt trigger exclusive or gate. Yeah, that would be interesting. Okay, here's one. This is a 7686. This is from 1973 in a hermetic package. Yeah, this is an oldie but goodie. Fairchild. Let's pop him in the circuit. I have a um, 1K resistor and a 0.01 uh, microfarad capacitor. Let's turn on the power. All right. And let's see what's going on here. And it doesn't look like much of anything is going on here. Let's, uh, here we go. I was just going too fast for that old part. That's a very old part, so it's going to be slow. Um, anyway, so we get uh, a double pulse output. This is the input, this is the output. And we get uh, some funny business going on here in our frequencies because we're getting some ringing on the uh, getting some ringing on the output on uh, on this guy here. Zoom in here, and we'll kind of kind of go over to. Sorry if my arms in the way. Yeah, see, we're getting some ringing on that edge there, so things are not working out too well for this particular circuit. Now, what I found is by adding another resistor, if I do this, uh, yeah, so now we get 21 kilohertz and 42 kilohertz, so it's, it, and we get clean waveforms here. So what did I just do? All right. Um, oops, camera's blown out. Okay, I took, um, the pen. Let me draw it in. Then I'll show you what I did. Uh, so I added a pull down. So we have a pull up from the other input and then I have a pull down here. So we're kind of uh, biasing the center to be around the 50% point. And by adding that 1K, it cleans things up. In this particular case for a 7486. So there you go. But we are doing the divide by two thing. Um, and everything is working. Everything is working fine. Okay, so let's uh, change our part. Uh, get the power off. All right, I'm going to take out the 7486 standard DVL. I'm going to put it in an LS version of 74 LS. LS68. Let's put him in. The legs are bent very nice on this part. Bend them in a little farther. All right. There we go. So this is a RCA part, CD74HC86. Oh, it's an HC part. I didn't want to do the HC part yet. We got to save that one. We got to save that one. We'll do it in chronological order of gate development. So the LS part was next. So yeah, this is a national semiconductor. Um, 86, a 74LS86. All right, let's turn the power on. 
and it's uh, it's working. I still have that pull down resistor. Let me let me pull out the pull down resistor. It works fine too, without the pull down. Okay, so we'll take that out. So we get this funny looking pulse and then another funny pulse. So anyway, that's what that part does. All right, we are dividing dividing the frequency by two. Okay, so then let's put in the HC part, which is the next chronological IC development. I loved when the HC series came out. I really, really like the HC series and the HCT series. That really changed my life way back when. All right, let's see how he does. And yeah, there you go. Let's uh, change the, change the. So yeah, very nice square edges. If we're getting a double pulse out, everything looks to be so good. Like I said, the HC series, I love it, love it, love it. Let's put in the pull down to see what happens in this particular case. If we put the pull down in, oh, it didn't work at all. So no pull down on that one. Um, the HC part should have about a 50-50 uh, trigger point, right? So these have been the circuit we've been looking at. Like I say, one gets delayed in and one goes straight through. So it takes a while for it to catch up. And then, so when it goes through, one will be high, one will be low and you'll get an output. And then when they both end up being high eventually, then you have a high high and you'll get a low out because it's inclusive or you get one or the other, but not both. And um, in some of the cases, the extra 1K helped. Um, and as I said before, this was in, this is also a 1K and this was a 0 0.01 microfarad capacitor, okay? And it shows the Schmidt trigger here. You could do something like this. You could have uh, a Schmidt trigger buffer in between. So you have this RC here, you, you would run it into a Schmidt trigger. This would be ideal. Okay, that was a quick uh, chip of the day, the 7486 exclusive ore.